the uh, past few days, people have been getting all up in arms about the Supreme Court nomination uh, because Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died, or whatever the hell her name was. Um, it doesn't matter, and it, you know why it doesn't matter? Because the court no longer represents the people. Once it rule, once once any part of government rules against the people, it's it's now made itself illegitimate to the people. We no longer need it. Um, I, as an individual, have a right to decide whether or not I consent to being governed by this body. If this, go this government is protecting my rights and no one is supposed to be knowing, then I can consent to being governed by them. But it, on the other side of that, I can also not consent to it. You know, I am. Uh, this country is built on the foundation of the individual. You know, it's free. It's completely free. I'm completely free to do whatever I want as long as it doesn't violate your rights. It's that simple. And your feelings don't count. Feelings, you know, you don't have the right to feel good. You don't have the right to like what I'm doing. Um, and, and, you know, I don't have the same for me. If, you know, if you're my neighbor and you're doing something I don't like, it is what it is. Until you come on my property or you do something that physically affects me or my property, it's none of my business. There's not much I can do about it. So anyway, so the Supreme Court uh, whether or not Trump nominates somebody or not, um, I, I personally don't think it matters. Um, I don't think it matters at this point who is. Oh, that's kind of odd. I don't think it matters at this point who is um, on the Supreme Court. Whether it's Republican, or Democrat, it doesn't matter. They've taken a political position, and that's not a position for the people. You know, if there was a justice that would stand up and say, "I'm not affiliated with either party." not even the independent party, I'm just for the people, I would probably back that person. Possibly, depending on their views, as long as they did what they said, they, you know, what they said, they're for the people. But as of now, it just doesn't matter. The Supreme Court's illegitimate. Um, they can kiss my ass, along with everybody else in government can kiss my ass. The government's no longer for the people. I don't consent to being governed by, the, by this government, and it's just that simple. And you know, I've said it before, it will lead to my death. I know that. There's a there's a government bullet somewhere that has my name on it. I've accepted that and I'm fine with that. But I won't be a slave. And if you consent to being governed today, if you're voting today, you're a slave and you're consenting to it. It's that simple. You know, people are making a big deal out of the the elect the presidential election. Number one, the president is given way, way, way more attention than they um, ever really deserved. Um, and that's that's because people think the president has all the power. You know, the president can do this or do that, whatever, whatever it may be. He can change laws or whatever. He's a, he's a check. That's it. He's a check against Congress. He's the chief of the military. Um, and he is supposed to represent the people to outside, you know, other countries. And uh, like I was going to say entities. I don't know that's the right word to use. But just like that, it doesn't matter. You know what would you know what would really throw a wrench in the game and really mess everybody up? And it wouldn't surprise me at all if it happened. Is if Trump nominated the farthest, farthest left leaning person in this country for that Supreme Court justice seat. And I would sit back and laugh if it happened. Not because um, that I agree with their views or anything, but just because it's I I can really see it happening. You know, everybody knows my opinion about Trump. People don't change their moral compass and their principles because they want to win a presidency, you know. And I, like I said, I don't think it's because of that. But whatever, that's another that's another video. So, uh, moral of the story is it doesn't matter anymore. Either you consent to being a slave, or you don't. If you consent to being a slave, then you know you can probably go on with your miserable little life, pretending you're free, uh, being lied to told that you're free or you can not consent and know that there's a government bullet with your name on it and uh, I'm fine I'm fine with that it doesn't bother me at all and wait don't be surprised when it happens that's all I got to say I won't be